Hello guys and gals, and welcome to another episode of Skills and Abilities. Uh, today we're going to be going over one of the physical Amazon abilities, and that is known as Jab. Uh, jab is a pretty common use ability because it is a multi-hit attack instead of a single target. Um, it is used for Javazons, used for Spearazons, um, and, and believe it or not, also the Act 2 Mercenary uses Jab. Uh, jab is a skill that starts out in the negatives when you first get it, so it ends up being like negative 15% damage. So you actually lose damage for using Jab. But the beautiful thing about Jab is it does actually have three successive hits that pretty much can't be interrupted. Um, if you're trying to apply effects, like for instance, like say you have Crushing Blow or Open Wounds or... Um, maybe even some specific ability like Atmoscara with the Amplify Damage, Jab is going to be your best choice to get that, that effect off. Uh, because it's three quick successive hits which have a higher chance of proccing effects, a higher chance of applying your Crushing Blow, your Open Wounds, just in general, because you're hitting really quickly on those targets. And, uh, and it works absolutely amazingly for that purpose. Now, when it comes to damage output, Jab is not really the highest. Um, definitely, definitely, definitely Impale and Fend are far higher damage than Jab. But a lot of the times you don't really want to build down into that tree. You just need a quick ability to use just in case you want to physically hit a target. Like, say, for instance, you're a Lightning Javazon, um, and uh, you come across a monster that's immune to lightning and you're having a little trouble killing him, um, Jab can often be an effective alternative, uh, especially if you have a little bit of crushing blow on you, to take out those monsters um, you know, because it's physical damage and it does pretty good if you have a nice Javelin. Um, for the actual melee zone, if you're attacking a single target, uh, Jab may not be the superior choice because Impale is actually pretty decent as far as damage is concerned. In fact, if we look at... Um, the difference between Impale and Jab, you can see it's 6,697 damage versus 17,000. And um, we also have some issues with the attack rating on Impale because it has very low attack rating in general um, versus the attack rating of something like Fend. As you can see, is 8,695 for the same kind of uh, attack. And this is because a, a Fend actually does have a pretty decent 310% attack rating, whereas Jab has basically nothing. Um, not exactly the greatest. Um, Impale also does not require attack rating, so it doesn't even have attack rating modifier anymore. It just does lots of damage. Now, Impale is much slower, just in general. When you're using Impale, you can tell that it's a slow ability. It's one hit and it does a massive amount of damage in that one hit. And if you're not specifically a physical damage character, it might not really be the greatest, but it will at least guarantee you the hit. Whereas Jab is not guaranteeing you the hit, it does go off of your attack rating, and it does attack three times in that period of time. Now, you cannot be interrupted during that three attacks, which is actually pretty cool. Um... I know it doesn't actually say it on the ability, but when you're in the three attack animation, you cannot be interrupted during that. Um, it used to be a long time ago, back before they fixed dodge, avoid, and evade, you could be interrupted. But now that dodge, avoid, and evade have been fixed, you can't be interrupted during the attacks anymore. Um, there's really not a whole lot more to go over with Jab. It is such a simple ability, um, but leveling it up does get you a pretty nice bonus, and I'd like to show you that real quick. So let's go over to a single-player character, and uh, I just kind of want to give you an idea of how much you can get out of something like this. Um, honestly, in my opinion, it's usually not worth leveling um, because it just doesn't really get enough attack rating and it doesn't really get enough damage output to really make it super worthwhile. Um, but I would like to show you what kind of damage output it gets to so that you can have a better idea. Mm. 
pink. All right, so let's go ahead and reset this character back to his base. Um, and as you can see, I've got tons of plus to skills, uh, which doesn't make this easy. So let me go ahead and take out these plus to skills real quick so you can get a better idea. So at level 1, notice that it's negative 15%, which is pretty bad, with a 10% attack rating. And as you level it up, it takes a little while for it to get out of the negatives. Um, by about level 6, we're currently in the positive damage, um, but it actually hasn't given us any damage. It's just 0%. And at level 7, we get our first 3%, and then finally it starts to go up and up and up until we actually start to get a little bit of damage out of it. Um, as you can see, the attack rating does go up decently as you level it to 181%, which isn't too terrible. And adding in plus the skills, of course, would increase that even further, um, making it a nice high-level ability. Uh, the main issue, though, is that most people don't build this particular ability. So as you can see, at level 31, we've got 280% attack rating and 75% damage bonus. That's not really a lot for level 31. Right, And then I'm going to go ahead and stack on some strength so I can actually utilize my equipment. And um, I'm sure that you're going to notice that it doesn't really give me a whole lot more um, in terms of damage output. Now that I'm level 36, I'm looking at 325% and a whole 90% increase in damage. So the only real reason to pump points into Jab is for the attack rating. And um, if you don't have the kind of attack rating to utilize a skill like this, like if your attack rating is just kind of garbage, you might want to just avoid putting points in a jab at all. It's pretty much just a one-point wonder at that point. Uh, because even with maximum penetrate and maximum jab, I'm only looking at 8,285 attack rating. And that's with a pretty decent uh, poison build. Um, it's not really a whole lot. And who wants to throw 20 points into jab and 20 points into penetrate to hit those numbers? Uh, most people don't. Uh, so it's generally one of those abilities that you kind of want to keep at a one point wonder unless you're specifically building it. If you have a lot of free points and you just want to dump some points into it to make sure that it's landing its hits, then it could be useful. Um, but in general, nowadays with the Sunders, you kind of want to more build specifically into your build. So like if you're a Poison Zon, you're building a Poison Zon. If you're a Lightning Zon, you're building a Lightning Zon. Like you don't necessarily need to dive into the physical attacks as much anymore. And even the physical Zon himself, or herself rather, um, is going to build more into things like Impale and Fend. Uh, my Spear Zon generally just uses Impale and Fend. And unless she's trying to specifically proc an effect, which is really the only thing I use Jab for, is trying to get like an amp damage proc off, um, I generally don't use Jab all that often. Um, I more often than not end up going with Fend because it hits more targets more quickly than Jab does. Um, single target is really the only situation that I often find myself using Jab. And even in those situations, a lot of the times I still prefer Impale because it does more damage and it also guarantees the hit, whereas Jab does not. Um, mana cost is also kind of high on Jab when you level it up. Um, as you can see here, it's 10.7 uh, on the mana cost when it gets to level 36, whereas if I reset my character, um, you can see it's only like 4.7 at level 12. So another reason actually not to level it up, because the mana cost just continues to rise with every single point that you put into it. Um, even at level 12 right now with just one point, we're already at 4.7. And bringing it up to something like level 20 is 6.7 and so forth. And it just keeps ballooning upward as you level up the ability. Um, I'm not really sure why they decided to bring up the mana cost on this so much. Especially considering it really doesn't have a lot of increased benefit for the levels that you're putting into it. Almost makes you want to not level it up. Uh, just to keep that lower mana cost. Um, I think that's pretty much everything when it comes to Jab. It's really a simple ability, and uh, it was, was bound to be a, uh, a very small video. I guess I can throw in some other tidbits. Um, monsters that also use Jab, so you would be surprised. Um, the Scarab Demons, the little beetles in uh, Act 2, 
um, and spread throughout the game use jab. Uh, Duriel uses jab, believe it or not, um, as well as the corrupt rogue spear women in Act 5, and Uber Duriel also uses jab. Um, it's a pretty spread out ability, like all over the game. Um, as always, I do appreciate you guys and gals watching my videos, and uh, keep watching.